this is the time for papayas. Mm -hmm. And actually, this was a special request from the cast and crew of News Breakfast because we've been time prompted by me. Oh, you're a pie <laughs> fan. And I think the issue is that a lot of people think that pies need to be fussy and that you need to make your own pastry, you need to fuss about, but you can use leftovers, you can use shop bought pastry. I'm here to give you permission to do that. And you can really even not even use pastry, you can use cabbage. Now, we know how much you loved the cabbage segment last yes, time. So yes. <laughs> I well, thought I'd show you what to do with the outer okay. leaves of the cabbage. Right. I've so just texted Tony, there. by the way. Yeah, where I'm, is I'm he? <laughs> he's not here. <laughs> Look, he's got, he's got a plate set. On? He's probably hoeing into the. It's the very unlike Tony first. to be <laughs> absent when the grub's in front of him. That's okay, it. so what's this, Alice? This is called a giant galubets. And it's a dish that's uh, otherwise known as like a pigeon. Galubtsi are like cabbage rolls. But this is a mm. big one. Alisa Timoshkina is the. Uh, originator of the recipe. She's actually also one of the founders of Cook for Ukraine. Hello. Welcome, Tony. <laughs> Hello, Tony Armstrong. <laughs> well, just in time. What a coincidence. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and the reason why I thought I'd make you something else with cabbage is because um, Alisa Timoshkina, who created this dish, um, I'm helping host a little cooking class for her oh, on the weekend, a digital oh, class, which you can find out about online. Uh, but also because it's such a delicious way to show that you don't even need pastry. You can use vegetables, leafy I want vegetables. I to show people the inside of it. Where can yes. I do that? What what camera? Go camera? to camera two. Yes. Yeah. Here. It's beautiful. It's rice and I'm not sure I'm doing a very good job but it's, I think I'm going to spill it all over myself <laughs> eating it. Well, Let's dive I, in. But I'll give it a try. Give it a try. So it's mm. rice and vegetables and you use cooked rice. You can use a cooked pulse if you've got some bulgur or some, um, let's say some barley or some quinoa, whatever you've got. Mm -hmm. And then um, and then it's like a yoghurt and dill sauce on the mm. side. Mm. Um, then... Uh, what's this one in the... This is, you'd think it'd be a fish pie or a chicken pot pie but this is a collie pot pie. Mm. Sticking with the brassicas. Close up of Lisa eating. Tony <laughs> <cauliflower. laughs> How much cauliflower? Good. And cauliflower loves cheese. Cauliflower loves cheese. Cauliflower loves uh, curry powder. So this has both of those in like a cheesy mm. bechamel sauce. Store-bought puff pastry. Just remember, the all-butter puff is what you're looking for. All-butter Store, puff. Uh, But hang on, woo. Store-bought. <laughs> Store-bought. What, I don't have to make my own pastry? No. Don't make your own pastry, especially not puff. You can make short crust if you want to, and there is a benefit to making your own pastry. <laughs> you, can, you, know, you can put your own ingredients into it. You can put, like, a cheesy crust together. But in the instance of puff, it kind of takes days mm. to make a really good puff at right. home. So there are some really fantastic Australian puff pastries that you can buy from the freezer right. section of the shops mm. and then just thaw it on the bench for, you know, sort of between 40 minutes to two hours until it can roll out. It's good, isn't it? It's beautiful. And you know these segments now have mm. just been you having to talk the entire time because we <laughs> just start eating. You keep talking, Lisa. It's, only <laughs> it's, and it's, then a, fine, it's a fine line, isn't I'm it? I'm not between... even supposed to be out here at the moment. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> between uh, having a beautifully golden crust and, mm. and burning it to a crisp, which I fear I do, yeah. trying to cook a pie. So what do you say to those people who are a bit reluctant to... Foil. Go for gold, so yeah. to speak. Foil, foil is your friend, except when it comes to the microwave. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you heard what? that. Yeah, I was I hoping heard. you didn't hear I that. Heard. Yes. Uh, but if you feel like your pastry is getting a little bit brown a little bit too quickly, pop some foil over the top and that will keep it from... Um, you know, um, getting too much colour. However, in restaurants, you'll find that actually they take the pastry further than you think because it gives it that lovely caramelised burnish, mm. burnished kind of uh, taste and colour. And on the topic of caramelised burnish, yes. mm. this is a tart to tan, which is one of my favourite. Mm, that's, that's the one with the pears, the, the dessert. So uh, you've got that in front of you, everybody except for Tony, who's Tony's already eaten his. Eaten his. Uh, so fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> One of my faves, and this is a tart that you turn out. The pastry goes on the top, oh, and then you back. flip it out at the table. You can use whatever winter fruit you've got from pears and apples and rhubarb. Even if you've got some stewed quince, you can use that too. Mm. Again, shop port shop-bought puff and it's the caramel, the buttery, uh, sugary caramel which you can sort of see, you can make that together. Again, all the recipes will be available online. Fabulous. Uh, I, I would never have thought a cauliflower pie could taste so beautiful. It is awesome. Especially at 10 out of 10, hours. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it is great. Thank you very much. And mm. you don't even have to make your own filling. If you've got some leftover curry from the night before, you know, if you've got some stewed vegetables, I heard uh, one of the viewers yep. texting in about barley and lamb barley. and vegetables. Yep. Put that underneath as your little pot pie filling and then the pastry goes on the top and it's just, boom, oh. surprise.
absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, Alice. Always. A Any questions, Tony? Because I know yeah, that you'll well, be no, wanting to follow up with, you know, making this at home. Yeah, no, because I, I, I quite often let my leftovers go to waste, especially when I make a curry. So this would be the perfect, this would be the perfect um, filling for my next, my next pie. This yeah. is it. And you next can... being first. Yeah. And, but, but you can also portion it out, Indeed. Tony Armstrong. It should Make never it go in the yeah, never go in the bin.